When I heard Margaret Atwood was retelling The Tempest, my mind was drawn to the figure of Prospero in The Tempest, partly because I, I could see a parallel between Margaret herself and the figure of Prospero. Prospero is interpreted by many uh, critics as Shakespeare himself. It's like a so sort of a self-portrait that appears in his play. So I could see that parallel quite strongly. And also there was an interpretation of Prospero as a woman with Helen Mirren played the role of Prospero in a recent production. So that parallel was, was quite apparent to me. So there she is, you know, with, with, this, with Prospero's staff. There's a, there's a sort of a brooding quality because Margaret's books are very often dystopian. And so I wanted that, that painting that, to be evocative of some of that imagery that, that appears in her novels. But also, my interpretation of the figure of Prospero in Shakespeare's play, I associate very strongly with a particular pictorial tradition that was contemporary of Shakespeare's time. And that is the portrait of the saint in the wilderness. For me, when I read The Tempest, the figure of Prospero jumps out to me as one of Ribera's saints in, in rags with the saint. And, and, and the, the, the landscape that Shakespeare describes is very reminiscent of the, of the landscape that you see in those portraits of saints in the wilderness, like Saint Jerome, for example, the hermit saint. And so I wanted that painting to be within that tradition. And so the frame very much gives it that sense of an, an altarpiece which gives it a certain rel religiosity I thought was appropriate. And, you know, in many ways you could see Margaret as a kind of the saint of modern day literature. So I, I wanted to draw that parallel.